Hello there, and welcome back to the fish tank barn. One of my main focuses for this year is working on breeding some of the fish that have been more challenging for me to breed and also producing more fry. To that aim, I've come to the realization that I need to change the tank setup for my wrestling half beaks. To accomplish this, I'll have to move three different groups of fish. I also want to show you a DIY fry setup that I'm going to use in my breeding rack for some of my live bearers. And finally, we'll unbox some more fish from Dan's Fish. So let's go ahead and get into it. I decided that I need to make a change on how I'm keeping my wrestling half beaks. They're currently living in a 20 gallon high tank with not a lot of cover on the top for fry protection. Half beaks are known for eating their fry, so this current setup isn't really good for fry survival. This tank doesn't have a lot of headroom above it, so it's not the easiest tank to service. I'm going to go ahead and move these fish to a new tank and create a different kind of setup for them where hopefully we can see some fry and have better viewing of the fish. So let's start moving some of these fish around so I can set up the new half beak breeding tank. The first group of fish I want to move are this trio of Pacific Mollies and pair of Saddleback Platties. As you can see, the Mollies have settled in quite nicely since they came in from Dan's Fish about a month ago. I have an open 29 gallon tank that I think would be a great place for these fish. So let's go ahead and start netting these fish. I really think that large and extra large aquarium co-op nets work well for these tanks. They cover a lot of area and make it really easy to catch the fish. I was able to catch four out of the five fish on the first try. The last fish was a little more difficult, but really didn't take that much longer. Now that we've captured all five of the fish, let's take them over to the 29 gallon tank and put them into their new home. Let's move on to the next phase of this game of musical fish. This 20 gallon aquarium that is currently home to my red delta guppies and Xiphophorus anders eye. I'm going to be using this tank for the new half beak tank since it's oriented long ways and has plenty of headroom so it'll be easier to see the fish and also easier to remove the fry and service the tank. So just like the previous tank, I'm going to go ahead and net all the fish out of this tank and move them to the 20 gallon tank right next door where we just remove the mollies and platies. The Xiphophorus andersi were pretty reclusive, hiding in the hair algae at the bottom of the tank. So I ended up having to remove the algae in order to find all the fish, but finally I was able to catch them all. As you can see, this tank is pretty cloudy, but it'll clear up in a couple of hours. Let's talk about the half beak tank and how I'm going to provide cover for the fry. My plan is to float this plastic plant mat that I picked up from Joanne Fabrics for about 10 bucks. This actually fits perfectly on a 20 gallon high aquarium, but if you need to cut it, there's a grid pattern on the back that makes it quite easy. I went ahead and caught the half beaks, so let's go ahead and add the half beaks first. And then I'm going to situate the plastic plants on one side of the tank. One section of plastic plants covers about half the tank. So I have one half of the tank for fry cover and the other half for feeding and any other work I need to do on the tank. Let's fast forward a couple days and take a look at how the fish are doing now. The half beaks have settled in nicely to the new surroundings. I'm really glad I made this move and hopefully we can see some fry here in the near future. The Pacific Mollies and Platties seem to be enjoying their new 29 gallon tank. And the same is true for the Red Delta Guppies and Xiphophorus anders eye as well. Now that I've completed all the fish moves, let's go ahead and switch gears and work on the breeding rack. When I was at Joann's, I bought a second piece of the plant mat and really thought that it would make great ground cover for fry that sink to the bottom like sore tails and platies. I went ahead and measured the mat and cut it to the appropriate length. I added the mat to the bottom of the tank and to ensure they would not come back up, I added these glass rocks that I also found at Joanne Fabrics to weigh it down. I really like these mats because they'll be easy to clean and they'll also provide a lot of great cover for the fry. I went ahead and installed this back on the rack, added some water, and this is what the final product looks like. Over the past few months, I've done quite a few dance fish unboxings, so I'll only do an abbreviated one here. For my birthday, my parents gave me a gift card to dance fish, and it was not going to go unused. As usual, the heat pack is still warm, and the fish came in great, 
and we're not showing any signs of distress. Instead of adding a new species to the fish room, I decided to add to the numbers of the two molly species that I purchased at the beginning of the year. I was able to get another pair of both the Liberty mollies and the Pacific mollies. When I add new live bears to the fish room, I really don't like starting out with pairs and trios if I can avoid it. So I was happy that I could add some more fish to this group. Now that I've got the fish unboxed, I'm going to float the bag for about 15 minutes and go ahead and release them into their new home. The fish came in the late morning and were released around lunchtime. It's now evening, so let's check on both pairs of fish. I added the Liberty Mollies into the 29 gallon tank that was already housing their compatriots. The Pacific Mollies were added to the 29 gallon tank that we just restocked earlier in this video. All fish seem to be doing fine and are not showing any signs of distress. Again, another great shipment from Dan's Fish. I know there was a lot going on in this video, but I hope you enjoyed coming along with me on all of these projects. With some of the recent events in the fish barn, there'll be definitely more projects to come. If you want to see a complete Dan's Fish unboxing, I'll go ahead and add that to the end of this video. So with that, stay safe, stay fishy, and I'll catch you on the next video.